All right, Natalie, thank you. We now turn to the weather, taking a live look outside, looking south over Baltimore. Those clouds moving in, and so is some wet weather, Rick. Yeah, unfortunately. Hoping it's going to hold off for the game, though. Let's get over to Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley. He's got the answers. Derek. Yeah, we're going to be splitting hairs with this one here tomorrow because uh, some of the latest data suggesting that the rain may hang on a little bit longer during the day tomorrow. But we're going to go ahead and keep the forecast mainly dry for the start of the O's game here tomorrow, which is slated for a 1 o'clock first pitch here. So we're going to talk more about that in a second. I'll show you a couple of different computer model solutions that we're looking at that are showing differing things here. So here's a look at the radar now. We are looking at some downpours across parts of the eastern shore, heading from Cecil County all the way south. We're into Queen Anne's County. This is a very narrow band here that's tracking off towards the north, mainly east of Chestertown, heading due north up towards Elkton and Cecilton. And there's some more showers that are back towards parts of Prince George's County that may try to sneak northward into southeast Howard County over the next uh, half hour to 45 minutes. But temperatures once again rebounding into the mid to upper 70s. I hope you enjoyed this bonus day of these temperatures because it certainly is not going to feel like this here for tomorrow as we're going to be on a cooling trend heading into the weekend. So here's your your forecast through tonight, mostly cloudy skies for the most part, but that's not to say that we won't see a stray shower or two popping up here throughout this evening, much like what you're seeing right here. So they'll be very spotty in nature if we do see anything popping up here through late tonight. But here comes the showers as they, we look off towards the west, and then we also have an upper level trough of low pressure out to the west here that's going to bring uh, a few more clouds into the area here for tomorrow afternoon and into Sunday. But it looks like the chance for rain is going to be highest tomorrow morning. Now, this is one of our forecast models. It kind of gives you an idea what to expect. Rain chances in the morning, but Notice how this model takes the rain out of here right before lunchtime and pushes it off towards the east and clears our skies out pretty quickly. So that's the one that we're going with right now. But let me show you one of the other ones that we look at. This is called the HRRR model, which updates every hour. And it keeps the rain chances high through the morning hours. But notice that it keeps these chances for rain around even through the early afternoon hours. So even about 1 o'clock, still have some spotty showers around. This very well could happen. So what I want you to do is plan for the possibility that the game could get delayed a little bit as a result of some of these showers that may hang on a little bit longer. If we see anything, it's going to be light. But overall, we're going to go with a mostly cloudy sky here for tomorrow with a northwest wind at about 10 to 20. Temps in the 60s here, but there is a chance that we still could have a lingering shower around for the first part of the game. And then on Sunday, we're looking at plenty of sunshine across the area, but it looks like those winds will be gusty out of the west at about 10 to 15, and it'll be a little cooler. Temperatures into the low 60s to start the game at 4 o'clock, but then by the end of the game, we're looking at readings into the upper 50s here across the area. But it looks like things are going to improve here nicely as we head towards the latter part of the weekend. Dry weather, highs in the 60s here uh, through your Sunday into early next week. We're back up into the 70s here by Wednesday with our next best chance for rain arriving next Friday. Back to you.